and welcome back to the nursery. Um, just standing in the shed here, um, behind me we have a little spread on um, of a few trolleys. We always get um, a lot of visitors coming around uh, visiting Renta Spring Fair Monday and Tuesday, which is next week. So I said we'd run through a few bits here um, to show you what we have and um, save you walking around the nursery. Um, some lovely two litre Lamprantis um, and Delisperma Cooperize. They're um, looking very nice at the moment. They're nice full um, foliage and um, in a two litre and have lovely flowers come the summer. So those are ones definitely to keep in mind. Um, always popular are the Ibris. So we've also got some lovely pink ice here and you can see how nice and tight, neat growth that is. Um, and it gets its uh, name pink ice from the, the small tinge of pink in those flowers. A really good selection of um, P9 Alpines at the moment, stuff like Armerias and Saxifrages. So we've got a lovely um, uh, Armeria Splendens here. We also have some really, really attractive um, Arabus Spring Charms. So again, really good plants and uh, well labelled and all um, plant passported up for regulations. We also have some really good Semper Vivums at the moment and Sedums, stuff like um, Capo Blanco there. Really, really good foliage on it um, and nice and tight. Uh, Hilly Antimums, Rock Roses, always popular as well. A couple of colours in those. Then we have um, a lovely trolley of herbs. So we've stuff like plain parsleys, rosemaries, lavenders, stuff like that. So really, again, really, really good quality plants. Um, this one here is always one of my favorites. It's a nice silver foliaged lavender edelweiss. So again, really, really uh, attractive foliage and smells absolutely lovely. Oregano, sages, lemon balms, the usual varieties, stuff like um, golden fever view as well. Again, something slightly different to the contrast of green. So very, very um, good quality plants at the moment. Um, then we run along, we've got some really um, nice spring um, plants, uh, stuff like uh, some nice hellebores. Alliums are always popular, so we've got Sphyrosaphalon, so you can see done with five uh, bulbs, a minimum of five bulbs in a pot. Nice tight head on those. Um, varieties like Globemaster, uh, a new one there, um, which is Allium Sicilium. Uh, uh, um, so that's slightly different. Um, variety has uh, really attractive looking flowers so that's new to us and we're excited to be growing that the usual ones are there too um uh, purple sensation and christophia um lovely salvias as well so we have the usual um popular ones like hot lips and amistad so those are really really good varieties and trusted so i have performed very very well um also very popular um, and I like it, I have it in my own garden. Uh, very attractive flowers. This is Lichnus atrosanguinea and has really vivid pink flowers come the summer. Really, really attractive. Um, as we go along, we've also got some Penstemons, Agastasias, and still got some lovely Kafer lilies, Sustastilus. So you can see some of these still have a flower spike in them as well. Um, Agapanthus, always popular as well. So we have a nice variety here called Charlotte. So you can see um, these are starting to produce uh, flower stems at the moment. Um, fritillarias as well, so um, I like these, these are um, Fritillaria aurora, so you can see lovely hanging bells uh, of orange in colour and you can see that really strong plant coming up out of that three litre pot. Also some lovely um, Astelia, so we've got some nice small and uh, neat uh, silver shadows, so those are again very very popular. Um, also a new um, this is Oncinia um, Everflame. This was new to us last year, started doing it, and uh, quite like the um, variegation and the redness on the edge of those bits of foliage. They're really, really attractive too. Um, the usual varieties like a chorus and uh, Carex Frosted Curls are also there too. Then on the next trolley here, we've got some lovely Formium. So we've got some lovely Golden, uh, golden Sword, and we've got Bronze Baby, and we have Flamingo. So those are very popular varieties. And then um, those are sitting on top of a mixed trolley of ferns. So um, some lovely, some very, very nice, uh, attractive evergreen ferns there. Just to pick a few, we've got the likes of the heart's tongue fern, which is a splenium angustifolia. You can see that lovely, strong, fresh foliage. <clears throat> we also have some nice varieties like uh, this is uh, polystichum plum densum. So you can see that uh, difference in the foliage on that one. Um, 
what else have we got there? We also have, these are also very popular, so that would be polystitch and Herrenhausen. Just to pick a couple off the trolley. But as you can see, all um, exceptional quality and presented up lovely on the trolley. Um, we've got a few other bits here. So we've stuff like Watsonia, some nice Cordline Torbay Dazzler. And you can just see, like, that's just a fantastic plant. I mean, you couldn't ask for better um, in a three litre green pot, um, labelled up, very, very nice. Um, GM's always popular too, so we have um, Scarlet Tempest, um, this is a newish one that we started doing, um, not new to the market, but new for us, um, and it's performing very, very well. Um, well not, obviously we have uh, Lady Strahedon um, and uh, Mrs Bradshaw as well. Um, some really, really good, nice Echinops, so the Echinops have started to come up, Blue Globe has started to come up out of the pot um, after overwintering very, very nicely, nice fresh foliage on those. Um, silver foliage plants, lovely at this time of the year. So we've got Convolvus sonorum. So you just see that uh, lovely white flower um, that that will produce later on in the year. <coughs> Camassias, um, also, uh, I've white there as well, but Camassia blue, you can see that that has started to pop its head out of the pot. So again, very, very popular plant and looks exceptionally well in a garden um, scenario. Um, behind us here, we have a nice trolley of uh, roses. So we've got um, a lot of climbers, um, just a selection there. So we have stuff like Golden Showers, uh, Dublin Bay, Galway Bay and the likes. Um, we also have some very, very nice miniature patio ones. So we've got stuff like uh, Sweet Dreams, Arthur Bell, and we have Ruby Ruby there as well in red. So there's a selection there, keep an eye on the list. Beside them, we have um, just a little bench of some of the Austins that we do. So we've got stuff like Gertrude Jerkel, uh, Lady of Charlotte and uh, Winchester Cathedral, just to mention a couple. So those are done in a really nice um, anthracite uh, four and a half litre pot. Looks very, very well. And then we finish up on this trolley here. We have a few more grasses, some nice Campanula, stuff like uh, uh, Campanula Persifolia cerulea. So that's the blue Campanula, really, really nice. Um, some heuchras, so we've got sugar, plum, and um, we've got, also got this lovely helichrysum um, ruby clusters, so you can, or red jewel, sorry. This has taken over from ruby clusters, better color in the flower, um, in the bud, looks very, very attractive. Um, caramel, uh, heuchra caramel, also very popular as a variety, and then we've got some nice uh, pulmonarias, so these are a lungwort, so we have ones like um, Majesty and we've got uh, Blue Ends on one of the legs. So again, very, very popular varieties and all looking exceptionally well. <coughs> so um, like I said, the nursery is open for anyone who wants to come by and uh, we're only about five minutes drive from the Rent to Spring Fair. So please do call in, have a chat and take a look at the few plants that we have. Thank you.